Can you believe that barbed wire hanging around the tank can be bulletproof? The scenes that appear in the movie are not exaggerated. It is the most commonly used method in practice. The earliest origins in the European battlefield, used by the Soviet Union and allies against German rockets. Earlier the infantry wanted to destroy the tank, there is a high probability that explosive packs will be used, it's the death squad we all know. It was not until the advent of the individual anti-tank rocket launcher that this situation was changed. This equipment is also known as the second largest infantry in the last century. The invention of weapons is second only to the burst submachine gun. Its appearance gave the infantry, which seemed vulnerable, the ability to destroy tanks at long distances. However, the individual anti-tank rocket launchers did not initially use armor-piercing projectiles. Instead, the armor-piercing bullets equipped by ordinary anti-tank guns shoot high-speed ammunition through high chamber pressure. Use huge kinetic energy to shoot through the enemy tank steel plate, but the result was far from ideal. Although it can play an anti-tank role, soldiers were frequently injured due to high-intensity recoil, some skinny soldiers can't even pick up the equipment, therefore, it can only be replaced by armor-piercing shells with low recoil. The reason why armor-piercing bullets do less damage to soldiers, it's because his armor-piercing ability has nothing to do with the speed at which the ammunition flew out. The ammunition itself is equipped with a small engine, can provide enough flight power, after hitting, you can not only rely on kinetic energy to complete the blow, the special metal filled inside will also form a high-temperature high-speed jet along the gap, therefore, in many cases, the tank was not damaged, but the driver inside was already dead. Understand how rockets explode? Naturally, the idea of resisting rockets is there. Simply put, let the rocket detonate before it touches the tank. The armor-piercing ability will be greatly attenuated, if you can interfere with the ammunition fuse and fail to explode, the threat is naturally lifted. For those tank drivers who have experienced armor-piercing projectiles, no need for military rear research, I figured out a way to do it myself. For example, remove the wire guardrail from the factory and fix it and then weld it on the vital part of the tank. It's okay without barbed wire. Wooden boards and thin steel plates can be used. As long as the isolation effect can be achieved, when the rocket ejected towards the tank, the first thing I came into contact with was barbed wire. At this time, two situations will occur, or detonate in advance, but when the jet actually touches the tank surface, the intensity has been reduced a lot, either not penetrating the wire mesh or stuck in the wire mesh, at this time, the lead wire is likely to be damaged or fail. Ammunition also became duds. This happened in the Battle of Berlin in 1945. A T-34 tank was heavily shelled by German infantry during the engagement. He actually blocked eight rockets with barbed wire, five of the shells detonated in advance, three failed tanks with only minor damage. The personnel are safe and sound. This incident quickly spread in the Soviet Union. The tank driver was also awarded the Medal of Honor. More interestingly, this approach did not disappear with the end of World War II. It can still be seen in the Vietnam War more than 20 years later. The main force sent by the United States is mostly infantry. Get used to mechanized combat. In the face of the Vietnamese army who were good at fighting guerrilla warfare, there was nothing they could do. Can only be replaced by armored units. However, the Vietnamese army is equipped with a large number of RPG anti-tank rocket launchers. In order to reduce losses, the US military, barbed wire guardrails were installed on the tanks immediately. After the driver's response is good, it is immediately communicated upwards. In the end, the U.S. arsenal will mass-produce the iron mesh. Soon, 80% of American tanks were installed. Of course, this approach also has disadvantages. Replacement of new logisticians after each battle. Always work over time. But fortunately, it can reduce the loss of chariots. Up to now, the method of adding barbed wire to tanks is still widely used.